Hey there, hi there, ho there. It's me, Bear, the Forever DM. Sorry if my energy's a bit low. I've caught a stomach bug, I think. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. It's a couple of days ago. It's couple, about two days I've been dealing with it, and it's... I'll spare you the grisly uh, details, but it's been no fun. I even had to sort of leave work at lunch today and be done for the day because it's just laying me out. Um, so this is an update video. This is a this is a, a follow up to my video about lamentations and questions and concerns and all that fun stuff about uh, Marvel Multiverse RPG. So I I, I mulled on this. I thought about this. I ran a lot of scenarios through my head. I talked to my players. I talked to some of the people online I know. I, I posted about it in the Facebook group to just see what people's feedback was because I was hearing a lot of negative, uh, a lot of people getting frustrated, a lot of people wanting to give up uh, on the process. And uh, it left me in a very interesting place because I wasn't sure what to do. I mean, if we're putting this much work into a game, why not just make our own? And then... I, I I just I decided fuck it. <laughs> I decided fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound, man. That's just the way it's gonna be. So I'm enjoying it. I'm leaning into the homebrew and I'm gonna keep running it. And I'm just gonna, you know, fill in the blanks where I have to, use the homebrew from the community where I have to, um, make up shit where I have to, and as they hopefully release more material from Marvel, well, if their stuff's better. I'll use that. If the homebrew stuff's better, I'll adapt their stuff to fit it, because it is ultimately the same system. What I won't be doing is using homebrew that completely rewrites the game. Changes, I don't mind. The rank changes, adding in a strike uh, ability score, that's cool. My idea of doing uh, positive, negative traits and talents, I'm down with that, and power sets from other people. What I'm not going to do is rewrite the entire power system or use a rewrite of the entire power system or anything like that. Okay. Second, um, I'm pulling the plug on Project Excelsior. What? Why are you doing that, Bear? There's a reason. And the reason is, over on the uh, Reddit, and there'll be a link in the description, they've started a wiki of the homebrew stuff, of bringing everything together. Characters, homebrew rules, stuff like that. They've got a whole thing going on where people can post their stuff. So... I don't want to split the community. Now, I don't have to tell you guys, especially in role-playing communities, people can camp up really fast. They can pick a side, right? And then they support one side versus the other side. We saw it with the old uh, classic Marvel and then the change to the classic Marvel Forever site where there was a split between Aunt Petunia and some other people. And it just, I want to avoid that. My goal is to keep us together as a community. My goal is to make sure that I'm not doing anything to split the community off and I'm not doing anything to cause the community any pain. So, these guys went ahead and did this. Cool. Excelsior hasn't even touched ground yet. We've had one submission, so I'm good with letting that go and putting my support as well, and I hope yours, behind the Reddit. So, I'm going to put the link down below for the, the wiki for the multi -mar Marvel Multiverse RPG wiki of homebrew, including characters and, you know, homebrew rules. So if we go in and we take a look, we can see that, you know, they've got some stuff. Not a lot yet, but it's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come. And then if we go back, uh, we can look at some of the characters that have been getting written up. And that's actually starting off well. There's a lot of guys doing characters. It's coming up slowly. So we've got Doctor Doom, Honey Badger, uh, that is some character from after I stopped reading comics, Jubilee, Silver Samurai, Spider-Man Cosmic Edition, Sentinels. So there's... Can you hear that? Something going on upstairs at the landlady's house. Anyway, so they've got a whole bunch of stuff there. So I'm going to throw that... Uh, link down in the chat, and that's where I'm going to put my support behind that procedure. Uh, second, I got a brilliant idea last night. I, I, I could say it came to me in a dream, but it didn't. It came to me as I was lying in bed thinking, getting ready to go to sleep about how I wanted to work with this and what I wanted to do. And I remembered um, I wanted to look for power sets, things that had power sets that could inspire me. And then I just like, <sniffs> City of Heroes had power sets. So I looked up the wiki and there was a bunch of stuff on power sets and I started working on a psionics one that was going to have a telepathy, a telekinesis, and a mind control. But for me, I also want like a psionic energy one where it's not telepathy, it's not, you know, telekinesis, it's pure... Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm run down. Uh, it's going to be pure, um, just sonic energy, right? Like there's this scene in Teen Titans versus the X Men where Starfire comes bursting through to attack Professor X, and he just throws up a wall of psionic energy, and she hits it. That always stuck with me since I was a kid. It's like, that's cool. So I wanted to do that. So I started writing up this um, thing. <laughs> and uh, I don't like writing up powers. But this guy, Commander Leon, he's a Brazilian fellow who created the uh, Gadgeteer power set and glider cape utility power uh, thing. He's on Kofi. I suggest you go check him out. Let's go over and look at his Kofi really fast. Uh, he did this. He also did another one, uh, Parasite Power Set. Go, you know what? Go give him a three dollars. Come on, go. I'll put the link down below. Go give him a three dollars. Go buy him a coffee, man. The guy's working his ass off for us, and he's really good with the photo, with the uh, Illustrator to make the stuff look good and all that kind of stuff. So he and I got to talking, and I showed him what I was doing, um, and asked him if he wanted to help out, and he's like, absolutely. So he's in. So. We're going to produce more material this way. Um, we're going to look at stuff like City of Heroes. He uses Marvel Universe because they have sort of power sets in there, or at least power trees. And we're going to look at that kind of stuff and fill in the gaps until Marvel gives us something. And then when Marvel gives us something, we'll look at it and go, is this better? Is this worse? We'll be adaptable. None of us are trying to create our own game. We're not trying to create... Oh, it's so sorry. We're not trying to create a new game called, you know, Excelsior or something like that. We're trying to make this game as fun as can be for us until Marvel meets us there. So please, head over to the database. Make sure you follow, subscribe, or bookmark it or whatever you need to do so that you can see the updates from people as they add characters and they add rules and they clarify. And you can pick and choose as you like. Go to Kofi and give uh, give the good commander three bucks. You know what I mean? Go go throw him a cup of coffee. You know? It, it's just the way it is. Uh, and he's in Brazil, so you know they got good coffee for three bucks. Uh, though they do have Starbucks now, so that's sad. Um, that's, that's like, you know, that's like having Pizza Hut in Rome. <laughs> you know? Anyway. Um, and, you know, and, and follow along. Um, cause I'm going to be doing the live stream on every other Wednesday with the boys. Uh, I'm still looking for some people to, um, join to do the rescue lady America mission. Although I will suggest this, if you guys want me to really consider your character, please don't make anime characters and please don't make, you know, tough vigilantes and stuff. Make superheroes. You know, if you need to know what I like, I like the Bronze Age. I like the Avengers. I like the new Teen Titans. I like the Justice League. I like, you know heroes in costumes not angst driven ninjas that's just it's one of the things that drove me away from city of heroes was as they more and more and more tried to cater to the anime crowd we saw less and less heroes and costumes and western style superheroes around you know atlas park we started to see just cat girls and you know this stuff so you know so if you really want to catch my attention you really want to make me you know want to consider your character man you know Trad superheroes, that's going to catch my attention good. At the end of the day, I'll go with what I get. You know, whoever shows up and is willing to give it a try. It's just a one session. It's just a one fight. And it's a really cool fight, by the way. Um, and uh, I'm going to keep going with this. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. Sickness and in health. All that good stuff. I'm going to keep going with this. And I'm going to see what I can see. And I'm going to do what I can do. Um... Beyond that, uh, tomorrow, uh, the uh, DMs of the round table is going. We're having our live stream. Uh, Jeff Grubb is going to be our guest for about an hour and a half. So that's going to be awesome. Jeff Grubb, Phase Rip, MSH, yeah, Forgotten Realms, tons of stuff. So we'll talk about all that good stuff with him. Um, and we're just going to keep doing stuff. Don't forget Sundays. I don't make videos because that's my RPG day. And that's just the way it is. I was... <sighs> So sorry. Uh, I was going to do something uh, more tonight, but that ain't happening. So uh, I just wanted to give you this update, let you know where I'm at, let you know where how I stand and how things are. So you go ahead and be excited if you want, but I'm going to stay excited. I'm going to stay excited, and I'm going to stay in it to win it because I want to see this happen. I enjoy the game. My players are enjoying the game, uh, and there's a community that's enjoying the game. 
but we're not going to reinvent it. You want to reinvent it? You go ahead, guys. You do you. I'm not going to judge. But us, we're just going to try and improve it and work within it. So until next time, I am the Forever DM saying peace, love, and geek. And come on by tomorrow night. Jeff Grubb, how cool is that?